this is our Mr. Tackle Box for October. I know we're almost done with October, but hey, I was gone for a little bit. And this is what's inside. Got the dibble. Thank you, Carl. Fun facts. Ooh, fun. Here's what's inside. Mustad. We've got, let's see. Guggen Squad Gridiron Football Jig. Sexy this time of year. Mayhem Bay Company with some liquid mayhem. Those will be money as well. Excited to throw these around. You know, I love my finesse still. This looks like it's got to be the Dobbins. It is. This is the Dobbins Deep Blade Advantage Spinnerbait. Scattershad bladed jig. Put a cool little trailer. Maybe even this on the back of that. That could work. Got some cool little worm hooks here. And this looks like it's going to be the hard bait repaint of the month. Can't forget about these Pro Series X-Zone lures. That looks fun as well. This would be a great drop shot for this time of year. It looks like a little green pumpkin with some flake in it. Everybody's got to have a sticker. But hey, we're going to do this XB1 Double D. Seven to eight feet, half an ounce. Excite baits. They're out of Texas. Fun, fun, fun. Let's make something cool today. Okay, so I didn't want to just do something, ah, boring, shad, no, crappie, no, fish, no. We're not even going to put a fish on a fish. We're going to do something even cooler. We are going to place a sugar skull on this bait one way or another. I just got to figure out how to do that. So, hey, fish heads, it is the end of October, which means in American tradition, we are getting ready to celebrate Halloween the best way we can after the crazy year we've had. But it is completely different. Well, not completely different. There's a lot of costumes, but it's, Halloween in America is not as much of a religious observance as it is for the Spanish community. So there's a couple of different things happening um, and a couple of different contexts of this. So if you are looking specifically from our, uh, our friends down in Mexico, they would call this Dia de Muertos which is Day of the Dead. And uh, traditionally, it's a Catholic cultural celebration that lasts from November the 1st to the 2nd. And there are other celebrations in other Latino communities around the world that last uh, sometimes the whole week. And the difference in the name is just one little word. It's los. So instead of Dia de Muertos, it's Dia de los Muertos, which is the official name on the Catholic calendar. So basically in Spain and in other Latin communities around the world, it's held on All Saints Day, which is Todos los Santos. And the government in Mexico does the switch the festivity to the next day. So politically, yeah, it kind of became a, a football, just like we have different political holidays here in the United States. So. The observance, though, is to remember and celebrate the dead. And they do theirs slightly different than we do ours. They have big memorials where there's food and there's celebration, there's dancing, there's some really beautiful traditions. And some of the offerings include the sugar skull, skulls that are wildly painted and beautifully done. And I'm going to put, or at least try to, put one of these maybe loose representations of my own liking on this bait. Just for something completely different to do. And I'm probably going to be doing a lot of ink on this that's um, acrylic and light fast. But just for something completely different on Halloween and to honor the Spanish and Latino cultures, Dia de Muertos or Dia de de los muertos. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly for those of you um, that are in the Latino community and are watching this video from around the world. So I hope that I'm able to do some justice to this. So let's get started. 
so with this bait today, I want to kind of keep it a traditional black and white, and I think the only substitutions that I'm going to be using with black and white, or the only additions rather, are going to be yellow because the Aztec marigold is also incorporated. It's a heavily used flower in the altars that are placed to commemorate the dead. And then also probably a little bit of red. Now the skulls are called, if I, let's see, I'm going to have to go back to this, calaveras or calaveras. I don't think the V is pronounced the way the V sounds in English. I think it's calavera. I hope that somebody can either say, yep, you got it, Jen, or nope, you blew that one. But um, the calaveras are the beautifully decorated skulls to represent those that have passed. And you'll see them also, the face paintings on living souls, family members, usually the women more than you'll see the men in the society. And I just think that it's a really cool artistic way to celebrate those that have passed. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna prime this in white and I'm going to place a couple of markers on this because I want to be mirrored image as close as we can on both sides of the bait just like the skull is underneath here. Yeah, this is way too sharp of a knife. I only wanted it for box cutting. Don't use this sharp of a knife to try and get eyes out because you'll slice your hands up. I should not have done that. Don't do that. All right, tape off the bill. How are you guys today? I hope you're doing well. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm getting a little bit of a late start to my day. I had some packages that had to go out this morning. So I spent some of my time doing that. And then uh, I goofed around with some inks, which you guys are going to see in the tips and tricks. It's not going to be very long tips and tricks. Because to be honest, as beautiful as these inks are, uh, it was a little tricky. So it's something that I'm probably going to have to learn better. They are not at all the same as the water-based FW inks and Dr. Phil Martin inks. Um, they are lacquer-based. These Winsor Newtons sitting right here. They're lacquer-based, which means they're tricky. They're, they're really soupy, thin, like you dumped way too much reducer in something. Um, they dry very fast, and I, this is kind of the result for it, but you can see where it's just, I'm just not happy with it. So I don't know if there's an additive that I'm going to need to use. Some of you guys, and some of you that are probably way, way better than I am at airbrushing, are into the more, uh, like the lacquer-based stuff that's out there. So if anybody is doing that on a regular basis and wants to give me some insight as to what additives I could use, or I, I certainly know that it's not going to be something that I'm going to be able to do a, a lengthy video on, because with a respirator, I, I end up sounding like this, and it's horrible. So you don't want a, an entire video of me sounding like that. So I'm going to have to limit the time that I would even spend talking to you guys without a respirator on when I do stuff like that, enamels, lacquers, things of that nature. This is a cool little BD, or it's actually it's a B1 double D, similar to the uh, the Lucky Crafts that you see out there that are pressed into just about everybody's molds. This looks like the powder. Let's see, what is the name of this? Bone Daddy. See, it's even a cool name for Dia de Muertos. So we're going to just, you guys are going to see it on the screen. And we're just going to kind of leave this in the background to give me an idea of what I might want to put on this bait. And this is just, this is super like this was random that I decided to do this, but I figured, eh, you know, it's close to the end of the month, and that's Halloween for America, and that's close to Dia de Muertos for you guys and the Latino communities. And since I'm about two states away from the border anyways, I figured why not? This would be the perfect time to honor you guys and have some fun in our own traditions 
let's get some primer on this. I hope that I do a halfway decent job at honoring you guys. I know I have viewers from around the world, which is really, really cool. It's a, it's a humbling thing. And yeah, I know, everybody's secret. Like, when are you going to mention the giveaway? I'm going to be doing a massive 10K giveaway. Um, I'm just waiting on a few things to get here. So when that happens, I am going to do an announcement and a giveaway on YouTube. You have to be subscribed to the YouTube channel. So do that because I will be checking. And somebody's going to get one person. One person is going to get a really, really nice gift package. My business suite has been blowing up. And just real quick on that as I'm cleaning this air, uh, airbrush chamber out. I can't always get to you guys um, as rapidly as you guys are asking questions of me. So please understand that I usually have about a 14 or 15 hour day in this shop between my commitments to video and my commitments to my orders. I have been working furiously and I just got a buttload more baits from Mike Bullshad for the upcoming onslaught of shows in January through March. So my life is going to be slammed. So I promise you, I, I get back to you guys as soon as I humanly can. It's not always real quick. Sometimes it's not always the same day. It used to be. But then there was a whole bunch more of you, which I'm honored and grateful for. All right. Let's hit this with a hair dryer real quick or a heat gun, depending on what you guys have. I have the old Conair 1875. But I do appreciate all your emails and all your messages. I've been saying it for months, but I really need somebody to like sit here and help me answer stuff. I need a logistics office person and I can't afford to pay you. Here's what we've decided to do. We being me. These guys. So I'm going to hand paint the majority of this bait. Which is something I never do. So this is a completely out of the box paint. We are going to do this sitting down. Which is also something I never do. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little bit of a T just like if we were squaring wood and then I'm going to hit this as center as I can yeah that's about right and if I can just keep this centered I'm going to bring this all the way back because I can always paint over it but the template itself needs to be pretty good. So we'll move this at a bit of an angle. Just so I will be able to this on the other side. So I'm going to have a bit of a V-notch in here. And that will be our center line. These are Uniball Vision Elite pens. They're relatively easy to get a hold of. You can find them at most Walmarts. I'm just going to run these back, little circles, all the way down the back. No, this is not a TJ Hatfield bait. <laughs> not even close. This is going to end up looking more like this. So the other thing that I need to do is to bring this off of the cradle, out of the helping hands,
and I'm going to run this pin completely around the gill plate so that I have it's, mistakes are okay mistakes are always okay but you know come to think of it I've been I've been pondering this for a bit and I I see a lot of um, new painters that are frustrated they ask how many baits I've thrown away in the course of my painting and career and to be honest maybe one in five years there's no need to do any of that just prime it don't I mean unless you really screw up the clear coat clear coat you generally you can sand it down but if if you've gotten to the point where it's clear coat issues yeah I can understand that but if it's just paint you can always prime over it so all I'm doing here is just kind of negotiating the center line and what we're going to be putting on the front in the way of the flowers and stylus and then what we're going to be putting down the sides also probably flowers and stylus I'm also going to make a ring around this eye. It seems like a lot of the themes throughout here have got flowers in their eyes to represent those marigolds. So I came over here for a second because I do, I really want to incorporate just a little bit of stenciling into this. And I think that it would be suitable just to do black and white. And all I'm going to do is just a little bit down each of the sides of the center. I'll bring that way, 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 way down. just in a bit of a pattern and run it once, one and done. Flip this over and run the same side on the opposite. Should be it. I 
I like it. And here is our template that we're going to paint. Stoked about it. Got some eyes picked out. I'm just gonna go with traditional black eyes. Let's see if I can make this work here. Yeah, that works. Badass. 
All right, that's got to dry. We're almost done. So this is the sugar skull to celebrate Dia de Muertos, Dia de los Muertos. Slightly different between Mexico and the other Spanish cultures of the world and it also varies on the Catholic calendar. I hope that you've enjoyed this. Now this might not be something that you would want to try but I hope you've enjoyed me spraying it and painting it by hand. Certainly something different, something to get you guys thinking out of the box. There is no limit to creativity, not even on a fishing bait. So it doesn't matter that it's small. Um, this would actually be a really cool design on a larger swim bait as well. And I might do that down the road. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay tuned. We are going to have a giveaway for 10,000 subscribers, which I am, again, quite humbled by. And I really appreciate your patronage. I appreciate your support on this channel. And I really am happy that you guys are coming along on my journey through this career and having fun with me as I paint baits. And I'm hoping that I'm teaching you guys stuff as well. That's the whole goal of this. Thanks for coming along. Keep fishing. Keep painting. Keep creating. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates. Feliz Dia de los Muertos.